patio to sit outside. Um, and we're only a two minute walk from the metro. So that was uh, very uh, creatively planned and a uh, genius <laughs> location. Um, but yes, we would love to have you guys join us and don't yeah. be afraid. You know, you'll be in good hands, I promise. Um, yeah. You know, that's, we take that's what happened with me today, and we'll, we'll take care of each other. That's right. Um, so we would love to invite you to come to uh, the next Flip and Lime house and uh, go ahead and, and start your activism up. Um, oh, man, that's the message right there. That's right. Say that again, Kiki. Say stand it loud. Up, stand Say up it loud. for Lime. Stand up for Lime. <laughs> that's right. Show us, the back, show us the back of your shirt, woman. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait. You made it to sit up. It says, "Oh, something like fuck Lyme in the pandemic." <laughs> That's how we really feel. <laughs> so, All right. Thank you guys, and um, I just want to encourage you to come join us. <laughs> All right. So Kiki's a new board member. Welcome, honey. Thank you so much. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. And check it out, man. She was a realtor, and one of our long-term objectives with the foundation is to buy and sell and flip real estate. Flip and, and lime homes. Right, flip and limes. And you look at our little honeybee, and she's got her spatula, and she's flipping houses in the air. And this little lady right here is going to be one of the key pieces to be able to have that as an option down the road, which will help us to develop the foundation. And um, if we can really unique fundraising, um, truly building with a purpose, uh, rebuilding yes. or repurposing homes, um, existing homes. Flipping for a purpose. Flipping for a purpose. Flipping for a purpose. <laughs> Flipping for a purpose. <laughs> Are you flipping for a purpose? <laughs> I am not right now, though. <laughs> but I am <laughs> in here. <laughs> she was she was puking for a, a purpose a little a, while ago. <laughs> yeah, puking for a purpose. Well, you know what, honey? The fact is, is that you are honest. Yeah. You are authentic. You are one of the kindest, most gentle, and loving people I've been like instantly attracted to. And, and uh, you're going to be my little sister going forward, and we're going to be activists all over. <laughs> <laughs> she saved the camera. <laughs> oh. No, you're gonna you're gonna be a big a big part of this team, and you're gonna help move us forward together. That's and great. I love that. It's better you know, together. That's right. Yeah. And you're gonna come see me and Eugene. Yes. And stay at the house and, and hang out. And catch some chickens. Catch some chickens. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to get to go down to see you in Florida and do a little scuba Salt diving down bath. there. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, a lot of good things going on. And the thing is, is like, you know, we might do some flipping houses associated with that. Maybe we we'll rent a little Airbnb close to your place, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And have a little gathering. People get together. I think that would be flipping fun. <laughs> Flipping good time, man. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm gonna sign off we on this. We are not flipping joking either. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. So don't Keep... flip out. Just slip on over here, okay? <laughs> oh, you're adorable, great. Kiki. Thank you, Deb. Thank you so much. And thanks um, for all your support this week. Yeah. And thanks for arranging this beautiful house. I would much prefer to stay in a flip and lime house than a hotel any day. Well, good. Any day. Well, and you got your tribe looking out for you. That's right. You know? That's right. And, um, you know, the, the way we look at it is like, you know, there's going to be a day when I feel crummy and Kiki's going to be on her feet and she'll look after me. Yep. And then there's going to be days when, you know, it goes the other way. Right. And we're going to all pay it forward and we're going to look out for each other because um, we do understand mm -hmm. what it's like to be around the lineys and, and we do understand, like, when there's an urgent matter that we do need to go get medical support for but it, uh, before we do that we need to like assess the patient and you know is this urgent or not and, and have a conversation and i felt like we had everything in hand and that you were you know you were safe very good right yeah 
And uh, so this, this man tried to come up and help when we got off the metro and up onto the street. Uh, we weren't really quite sure what was going on or what he was trying to do or help us, but I was just making my way to the bench. And Deb just, uh, like my bodyguard, kind of stepped in and said, we got it, thank you so much. And, um, you know, kept me safe. So thank you, Deb, for that. I appreciate yeah. that. Or if I'd been alone, I, you never know what would have happened, you know? It was kind of my maternal showing. It was interesting. Mama that, Bear. <laughs> yeah, my mama bear came on. And he, this man, I didn't know who he was. I had not, like, vetted him. And I, and I knew that you were vulnerable. And I didn't know what his intention was. And so, and he was making a beeline towards you. And I know that he, his intention now, I think, probably was to help. Um, but I, but I knew your circumstances better than him. And I, and I was like, I got this. And I just stood between you and him. I just, I literally stepped sideways and intervened. Yeah. Um, yeah. because I, you needed space and you just needed to sit for a minute and, and maybe find a bag to barf in. <laughs> but, um. Oh, and if I had needed for him, for that fellow that offered to help to call on a radio locally or whatever, we would have used him. But, um, you know, we had it in hand. And, and I, you know, we had, between me and Ross, we kind of knew where Kiki was. And that yeah. at the, the best thing to do is to, like, get her in a car and get home and get her set up here. And we did exactly that. And part of a, you know, when we were sitting on that bench and, and waiting on the Uber... Um, I, I, I was overcome with emotion for a moment because um, so often in our lives with Lyme disease, in our mind, we want to go, we're ready to go, we want to do things, but the body doesn't let us. And it's, it's really, um, it's quite a war inside. Um, you, you feel disappointed. I wanted to go to the archives. I would have loved to see the Rosa Parks uh, mm -hmm. ex exhibit there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very fortunate my friends were able to make it there and yeah. you know bring some photos and some information home for me. So I got to enjoy it through them. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We're, we'll pro we're going to do more houses. There's an event here in September, and I think it's highly likely that we'll do another house, a flipping house, in September. And, you know, we're all going to plan to ravine and uh, resume this right then. <laughs> and you guys are coming with us, right? Woo! Yeah, man. Totally. Great. Yeah. So, lots of good things to come. Yes. Join so, us, please. Yeah. So, come on over. But at the end of the day, Kiki's message is like, you know what? Stuff happens. Limeys have ups and downs. I mean, we did, you know... We did the, the Monday of all the training from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until that night, about 8, 8.30 or so after the dinner. It was a long time, took in the information. And then we had to get back at the at the hotel and stuff. Um, 7.30. At like 7.30, .30, right, for a, bre a breakfast and where we could, which was really nice. I mean, but I actually mentioned to, to Bonnie and Jeff, like, Maybe not like plan things before 10 a.m. because <laughs> we are limeys at the end of the day and we're not really that effective before then. But um, you know what? We had a lot of people that showed up surprisingly because it was just so stinking important. And there were all kinds of people there, uh, not just patients, there were caregivers, um, there were advocates, um, patients. And all of us there together. Yeah. Some recovered, some still uh, in treatment. Um, but it was just nice to, to be together in that room and for the same purpose. And the purpose is to push Lyme forward through legislation and get some help. Um, we can't let this keep going on. Um, our, our governors and our senators and our president even. Um, you know, thank you, President Trump, for signing the Kay Hagan uh, TIC Act. Uh, that's very important, and um, you know it's just one step forward in the right direction. So thank you so much for that, and uh, you know to the senators who who proposed the bill, um, we are just so grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really, and you know Kiki's like really brilliant. She's already been on the computer and been uh, 
sending thank you messages out and, and being in touch with these people. And that's this is just the beginning. I mean, we're forming new relationships here, and this is going to continue. So stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Sign out, kiddo. Love all this stuff. We're getting it on, girlfriend. Woohoo! Love ya. <laughs> Love ya. Bye, everybody. Mwah.